All right, let me set this next prank up. I was going to my buddy's house, and as I walked in, he had a show on. And I'm like, what's this? It's a dumbass show called Bikini Barbers. It is just trash TV. It's retarded. It's dumb. I saw a little bit of this, and I was just like, the owner of this place is a douchebag. He is always starting fights in front of his customers he's always taking his shirt off it's just real douchey stuff so i decided hey you know what let me give this guy a call and this is that call hi is jeff in huh is jeff in uh who's calling this is mark mark from where well i have a business proposition for him No, actually, I wanted to speak to him directly. Well, um, unless he has an idea of what it's about, he doesn't take calls. Oh, uh, um, well, I can't really discuss this. It's kind of personal, you know? It's personal? Yeah, I would have to talk to him. Yeah. of what kind of business proposition it is, he won't take the call. Well, it's to expand his business. Um, he won't take it. I have several hair salons in Chicago, and I think uh, if we made some sort of arrangement, we can make a lot of money together. That's the gist of it. Okay. Hello? Hey, how you doing? Is this Jeff? Uh, who's calling? Hello? Yeah, who's calling? Hey, this is Mark. I just basically wanted to uh, tell you, why are you such a douchebag? You're very unprofessional, having fights with your customers, starting fights in with everybody, walking around with your shirt off. TV show. Don't call here and threaten me, all right? Because we're taking all threats. Threat? I didn't threaten you. I said, why are you a douchebag walking around with your shirt off? You don't know me. It's a fucking TV show. You have, must have no life to think that this is fucking real. You fucking idiot. You call here again, there's going to be fucking problems. I can already tell you're a douchebag just being on you on the phone for five seconds. Hello? Hello? Yeah? Okay, that's fine. I just wanted to call him and tell him that he's a douchebag. I'm sure you already know that because you work with him. No, if he was a douchebag, we wouldn't work for him. The thing is, it's a TV show, and he's actually a really good boss, so I would mind my business. Well, I mean, when he takes his shirt off and tries to flirt with the female customers, I mean, you know? Honey, honey, if you, if you got paid uh, a bunch of money to do that, wouldn't you do the same? If it'll hurt my business, no. I wouldn't act like a douchebag. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Laugh pranks, baby. It's actually not um, hurting the business. Most pe people are logical enough to know that it helps ratings on the show. And obviously it does, because even bad attention is good attention. Yeah. Yep. You're just you're just making our ratings higher, so thank you. No, I you're would never. You're taking the time out of your pathetic life to call us, so thank you. You're helping my ratings actually, so thank you. I was editing the video and I was gonna end the video right there, but then I thought, you know, I think I'll end it like this. All right, because we're taking all threats very seriously. Thre